Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. It is 85 degrees outside. It feels like 100, so I don't have my video on. I don't have all my lights on in my studio. I'm trying to keep as cool as possible. You know what's pretty cool is this Elementor version 3.0 beta that was released. And I just wanted to briefly show it to you and give you just an understanding of uh, maybe getting the beta yourself. This is an email that they sent out. And they give us an update of all the major things, and the major things being this new global settings area for your styles, right? For global colors, typography, uh, and a little bit more there. And some things I wanted to point out is you can opt in to, your, to uh, beta releases within your Elementor account. You can opt in, and then when you do, uh, you simply browse, they say it right down here in the email, go to Elementor Tools Versions, enable the beta tester feature, and then go to the dashboard and hit update, and you'll see the updates available to move to the beta version. Remember that it is beta, and uh, this one has a little interesting twist I'm going to show you in a second, so don't run this on your production Elementor sites. And they point you to two different sites I wanted you to look at. Uh, the developer blog on Elementor, which will give you some of the heads up of what they're planning on doing. They're deprecating some um, code level functions and methods, uh, removing things like HTML wrappers uh, in 3.0, moving to a DOM-based uh, configuration, and a whole lot more. So if you want to keep up with what's changing in Elementor, especially if you have a, an Elementor site that has been heavily customized or it's a very important site, it's an e-commerce site, very... Uh, uh, crucial for your business or your customer's business, definitely check out the blog. And pay attention to their GitHub account as well, and they sort of outline a whole bunch of things here. And, and one of them is that uh, unlike other beta versions, this beta includes two phases. This is the first phase, and the next one will come in a few weeks. And they're scheduling, I think, the version 3 to be in August. Uh, actually, in fact, it might be at the bottom of this email. Yeah, designated time for release August 4th, uh, 2020. That is estimated. And on GitHub, not only can you see the code that they've changed, but they're asking you to test these different flows, right? So as a beta user, you know, they want you to go in and go step by step. Like, here's how you can uh, interact with these new features and new functions. So definitely check that out. If you're interested, let me show you exactly what's coming to Elementor. I'm just going to edit this page with Elementor, and this part of the video should be fairly brief. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but if we go to Elementor settings, we go to global settings, uh, this panel, this new section here, will allow us to do some things that we weren't able to do before, like colors and typography, global colors uh, and typography. So we're able to modify this stuff right here in Elementor, uh, and that will have sweeping changes across uh, all of the styles of these predetermined um, classes or styles. So uh, primary headline, secondary headline, body text, accent text, that kind of thing. And the same thing for the colors. One of the cool things is, is you can add your own color or typography to these sections as well. So you can click on add your color, select a color here, you know, and you might call it something like Matt's CTA. I would say Matt's CTA, uh, call to action, hit update, and I am using, the, this is the hello theme, there are no elements uh, positioned on the side, so if we just get out of that, and drop in a new section, blocks, insert this, if we edit this section to the style, Drop down, you'll see now those predefined colors are back there, and Matt's call to action color is here. And I can choose that uh, for any of my elements. I could do the same thing uh, for typography. And that's one of the really, really nice things. I mean, it will be pretty powerful um, once, this is, once this is live and you have a site built with all of your custom styles, because at any point, you know, you can come in and change this color. You can kind of see it changing there. And that's my own, you know, Matt's call to action color. And if you're defining those amongst, amongst elements throughout your site and you want to change these things on the fly or with your client or with your team, um, that's going to get, you know, pretty powerful, you know, really, really powerful. Uh, and those elements there, and of course, all the global settings for content width, widget space, uh, all of that fun stuff. 
uh, theme style. So you can come right in here and also change all of uh, the global settings for the theme, right? But that's not the major one. The major one is going to be uh, this colors and typographies for right now. And this is a version one, right? A version one of the beta. This is phase one, I guess, as they're calling it. And then they'll be rolling out a new update. That's my flash in the pan. Is that, is that the right saying? That's the, that's the Flash update. That's the Flash news update for Elementor uh, version 3. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for it? Uh, in the comments below, let me know what you're building with Elementor. I've been working with um, trying out a new feature of the Breezy page builder. They're, they're rolling out, quote, unquote, their theme builder options. I'll be showing that fairly soon. They rolled out something really interesting uh, a couple weeks ago, and that's static hosting, right? So Breezy Cloud is uh, an interesting concept and it actually now integrates with some free static based hosting companies and i was trying to get it to work there was some bugs there um, and i've opened up a ticket to work with them but that, that it sounds pretty promising i think that's going to be the next video that i put out uh if they can fix one of the things i was working on but either way elementor 3.0 beta it's coming in august what do you think let me know pluginTut.com, pluginTut.com slash subscribe join that mailing list Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. Share it with others. All right. See you in the next video.